All right, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. Today, uh, I'm, I'm gonna approach this one a little bit differently than I normally do. Um, I just ended up killing a guy over there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a, like a live kind of commentary discussion on Incursion Red River. This is a brand new extraction shooter that just released onto Steam. And uh, I think the price is $16.99 US, but because I did uh, a video prior, the devs had sent a key out about a month ago. Uh, I'll be honest, I, when I played it back then, I, I didn't really like it. The game, I thought, ran kind of not great. Um, let's see what's in here. Oh. A bedroll? Hmm. Uh, okay. 30 round mag there as well. The objective here that I'm doing is on this map called Cory, and right now there's only one map in the game, which it, I will say a little unfortunate. Um, you know, even though the price of the game is fairly cheap, I still would have loved to see them come with more content. Um, especially you know going into early access, you kind of want to see like what these guys can do across. Uh, you know, I I, I can't say multiple biomes because I think this game is all just set in uh like Vietnam, but like a modern version of Vietnam. So I, I can't imagine maps are going to be, like, much different visually. I'll, I'll, I'll pull back over here just to tell you guys what's going on. Let me pull up my tablet. So the objective is to go into this military base. I'm here. And we have to just install these bugs and then extract. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to head uh, pretty much into this base, which we're looking at right here. Um, So this is a PvE extraction shooter. So imagine if you were playing like single player Tarkov. Um, that's kind of what this game is trying to fill a void for. So you can play it in four player co-op. Um, and like I said, in my last video, when I played this, uh, I'll have a link to that down below. I wasn't a fan of a lot of things. The game was just broken in a lot of places. Oh. I will say it is nice hearing um, AI voice lines. That's cool. The AI is not great. Um, when I first spawned in, I was just kind of looking into a container to pick up all of these bugs. And, like, they saw me through a hilltop, which I thought was just very, very strange. Oh, my God. Wait, where the fuck is that at? Oh, what? Dude, how the fuck did he even see me from here, though? Oh, I'm going to set myself to semi-auto. Oh, there he is. So he's talking to somebody. But I actually can't see who he's talking to. I'm going to wait for him to come around here. You have the access to the traders and stuff uh, at the at the hideout. Um, you can obviously, like, level them up and unlock different gear and weapons and a bunch of different stuff. Uh, right now, I'm just kind of starting with a pretty basic AK. I had killed a guy, the, the guy who kind of walked up on me. I killed him and took his M4. It's just sitting in my backpack, though. Um, but you can only have what looks to be like a, a primary assault rifle. Um, there's a secondary slot. I'm not sure if it's only for, like, SMGs. Um, actually, I'll just open my inventory here. So there's a secondary slot, and then there's also the holster for, like, pistols, and then you have melee as well. Um, but basically, we're infiltrating this base here. And I will say, um, when I played it before... Oh, the lighting on this map was really, really bad. It was very, like, over-bloomed, this very colorful yellow. Um, and I, I think there's a day-night cycle. Like, I think you can choose to spawn in um, in either, like, day or night. I think it was, like, 3.30 p.m. or a.m. Got, Got any spare water left? I don't think I do, dog. I don't know if that's going to alert other enemies. I swear I'm hearing footsteps. Looks like they've definitely made some additions to the map. Um, I know last time I played, this was pretty open over here, and, like, they were just shooting you from afar. Uh, it looks like he laid a tank in the middle there, which kind of blocks line of sight, which makes it a little bit easier to get into the military base here. I'm just going to try to loot him quick. So, looting. Okay, so that's an SM... Okay, so that is correct. So, SMGs... Does that have more... Oh, that does have more space for mags. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let's do this. Let's do this. That does have another space. Uh, that's a... So, yeah. Okay. 
Drop that. Equip that. Boom. Look at us. Oh, but we lose medical there. We lose a medical slot, but we gain more for other stuff, which is cool for me. I don't I don't care about that. I don't plan on healing. It also looks like they've done some minor uh, adjustments to the HUD, which is nice. I'm just going to open up my tablet here. So the first one, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to swing around, grab this, fall back, and then take the rest of these. Yeah, the eight. Oh, what the fuck? Oh. Okay. The I, I will say the AI. Uh, d man, dude, AI in games like this are so hard to get right. Um, the visual range for these fucking things are are insane. Um, inbox silent. What? You were actually defeated by those idiots? I will give you another contract in the meantime, but I expect better. Okay, great. Uh, back. Uh, job board. Uh, install the bugs. Oh, this gives us an M4, which is actually kind of sick. Um, but yeah, I lost that AK, unfortunately. I'm playing this as a solo. You can obviously go in here and do four-player co-op, which is kind of how it's meant to be played. So we'll go up this road and see what happens. Try to stick to one side. Oh, shit. Okay, so I, I have my stuff. Yeah, so I crashed... Um, I wanted to turn on Lumen, and then I set my, my graphics to medium, um, and the game just shit the bed. Uh, so we got Lumen on now. Lumen scalability settings are high. Uh, okay, let's do this again. <laughs> let's, let's try this again. So this game is Unreal Engine 5, although I don't really think that it, I, I don't think it looks particularly great. I think the weapon models look pretty crisp. Environments could definitely use some work it just it looks very unreal engine-esque which i I, th I think they could have done a, a little bit more with the uh, art style itself this game is 16.99 i believe and if you were to just take it like on its own 16.99 for a product it's not bad there there's one map there's a bunch of different types of missions um but it's it's not bad but if you were to take this and compare it to other games in the market, although, like, there's not really a lot of single-player extraction shooters, but realistically, I mean, what this is, is you're going in, you're doing missions, and then you're leaving. You know, a lot of games kind of follow that format where you have an infill, you have an exfill, you do your mission, and then you go. The actual, like, moment-to-moment -moment gameplay, I, I just, I don't think it, I don't think this does enough for me to be like, damn, this, this is a really, like, unique and cool experience. I think you guys need to try it out. Because I, I feel like you could play games like Ground Branch. Hell, I mean, even looking at games like Ready or Not, I know Ready or Not's not an extraction shooter per se, but I just, I feel like there's better kind of tactical experiences out there right now. I don't know, it just kind of begs the question, like, how much enjoyment are you going to get out of playing one map on this game right now? And while I, like, I can definitely see the potential. Like, I think if they can get more maps, more missions, obviously, like, more, more shit, like, weapons, and hell, maybe even different, like, AI, like, enemy types and stuff like that. I definitely can see the potential, but one thing I don't like to do is base a game off of what it could potentially be in the future. You know, if we're talking about what it is right now, it's, it's an FPS that functions. There's, at least so far, not a lot of game-breaking bugs where like you can't continue. I have had one crash so far in this recording session. No, hold on, I'm just gonna sneak in here. Nothing to really be alerted by yet. Nothing red flags poking out at me yet. I'm curious to see how fast it's gonna take them to make new maps and content. Okay, we're over here now. Am I in the wrong? I'm in the, no, I'm in the right place. I just gotta head to my right a little bit. Okay, so I've gotta head out here, okay. So I've got to go, is it this way? Sorry. Yeah, okay. I just got to keep going in. That container right there is where I got to plant this thing. You haven't had any enemy contact yet. Oh, here we go. Okay. So we got a bug placed. It's one out of five. So now I've got to go down this direction. I wonder, this, so this is like a quarry area. Can I see anybody down there? Oh yeah, I can. Oh, see, like, look at that shit, man. Like, I can't, I like, 
<sighs> I can't stand AI that is like that, bro. I really can't. Um, it, it really just, it takes my enjoyment out of these games so much, bro. Jesus Christ, die, man. Fuck. It really just, it, it takes my, my whole fucking mojo out of here that like, It's one of the biggest problems with uh, with indie FPS, in my opinion, is the AI just always needs. God, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. The AI just always needs so much work. I'm pretty much fucked. But yeah, like, so for me, I know this is like a, a, an extraction shooter. It's a PVE kind of extraction thing. But what it, what it really just kind of feels like is playing a game like Ground Branch, but having a, a bit of a persistent loadout that you can unlock via traders. You're essentially just walking through maps, shooting at AI that are patrolling around. And like, I don't know. Oh, that gameplay loop has grown so tiresome over the past few years. Where do I gotta place the bug? Is it on the door? No? Oh, here we go. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty dicked at this point. We'll see if we can get this one done, though. I would like that M4. Okay, and then one on that container over there. Okay. Oh, my God. We got painkillers. Okay. Use. Okay. Those painkillers helped. I don't know. Did those painkillers, like, actually heal me? Or did they just, like, stop bleeds? Where's my closest extract? Uh, pushing through military. Oof, that's a little, that's rough. That one's open. Hmm. Or do I, oh, that one closes. Okay, I know, I gotta go through military then. Okay, fuck. Just gotta take it slow. That's it. Once we get back to hideout, I'm gonna pull up their Steam page. We're gonna go through the early access stuff because this is in early access, you know? Um, oh, I see. Oh, is that guy T-posing? Oh, speaking of early access, what's he doing over there? Do I shoot him then? Or like, is he, is he active? Hey, where'd they go? Oh. Oh, he's, he's just broken. That's all it is. Okay. What's going on with my textures, by the way? What the fuck's happening here? Oh, I can't even go over here. This is just fucked. Okay. What the fuck? Alright, I've had enough of you. Okay, hold on. Let me re reload here. A lot of, a lot of, um, you know, texture... Texture issues and, and occlusion issues. I'm noticing a lot of pop in on stuff. Uh, you know, I, I say in the distance, but it's like near distance. You know what I mean? Got a pretty big gap to clear here. The fuck's going on with my shadow? All right. I think we made it out. There we go. And that is a raid in Incursion Red River. Now, the game up top does say it's pre-alpha. I believe it. Um, do I see potential here? I mean, uh, do I hate the word potential because there's potential in anything. You could, you could literally find potential in anything. It just depends on, you know, how well it's executed. Let me empty out my bags here and then I'm going to pull up the steam page and, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll kind of take a look and see what they got going on. All right. So incursion red river is currently sitting at mostly positive reviews, which is great. Honestly, like at, at the end of the day, there's a lot of things I don't like about this project, but it's good to see indie developers, you know, obviously getting some sales and, you know, potentially that'll lead to them making the game better in the long run. So uh, again, tactical first person extraction shooter set in a war torn modern day Vietnam, single player and co-op gameplay, customize your loadout, complete contracts and extract, or die trying. When we scroll down here, uh, Incursion Red River was released as a demo in 2023 to let everyone know that a co-op extraction shooter was being made. And according to them, their target is to be in early access for about two years. They say this target was estimated with our current rate of progress, estimated budget and team size, and they hope that going into early access may accelerate the timeline through financial support. Now, the current state of early access is 
two contract types, Sabotage and Secure in Place, in a total of 18 different variations. So, you know, you're placing bugs. There might be a mission to place them in the south end of the map. There might be a mission to place them in the middle or the north end. And that's what all of these variations are. There's also three challenge types, Elimination, Survival, and Barter. I'm actually not quite sure uh, what that means. There's currently 17 weapons in the game with 11 pieces of gear and over 200 attachments for the weapons. That's actually a really good number for an indie game. 17 weapons is actually huge. Over 200 attachments. If those attachments can cross-reference multiple weapons, you're looking at quite a bit of customization, which I think is actually really impressive. I really wish we could get a little bit more detail in what the full version is going to plan in terms of how many maps you guys are going to have in the game. Because when you scroll down and you look at the roadmap here for 2024, I'm just gonna zoom in here a little bit. In 2024, we're getting one new map, which in my opinion, eh, that's not really that great. I mean, we're working on like Tarkov level delivery here. Now, granted, the maps are large scale and I'm not sure what they're planning for this new map, but it does feel a little lackluster. We are getting seven new weapons, which is good. More contract types. So we got bosses and defensive contracts, which is nice. And then when we get into January of 2025, we're going to be seeing things like an extended health system, different status effects, different AI behaviors, which is going to be nice. Extreme weather, things like storms and rain i hope that before you get to extreme weather you guys optimize the shit out of this game because right now running the game medium settings if i have lumen enabled it chugs running this game on ultra with lumen is like sub 30 fps so optimization it, it needs to come before we get into things like extreme weather because in every unreal game that i have played every time you start putting rain in front of the player or storms and puddles and rain effects things drop significantly in terms of performance and we just can't afford that right now they're obviously bringing in a loot overhaul interaction animations for things like door openings looting etc as well as a world building overhaul now this is a decent roadmap. There's a lot of things obviously planned for the rest of the year and into next, which is good. Um, I am looking for more map content. I think the map right now is kind of, it's kind of lackluster if I'm being honest with you. One thing I'm not seeing enough people point out is that this game is moddable and we're already seeing mods hit Nexus mods here, things like full screen NPGs, Modern Warfare 2 Ghost First Person Arms. We also have a no gloves mod, so we get bare arms view models. So right now, being able to jump into an Unreal Engine game and have modding support like this, granted, this isn't like official mod support, as in like there's no SDK for mods, but people are jumping in, they're adding different files, they're adding the view models for the arms and stuff, and that's really cool. Overall, there is potential. Granted, I think a lot of people are going to jump in here and expect a little bit more for their money. I think they're going to expect more maps, more content, more mission types, as well as things like maybe a little bit better AI. I, I think the performance is, is going to be one of the biggest killers if this game does hit, you know, a, a, an area outside of this niche tactical shooter audience. But I do see this game potentially scratching an itch for a lot of people in the future. As of right now, I don't actually see myself jumping back in, and that's simply because of the AI. Take everything else that I've mentioned out of the equation. I can deal with optimization issues. I can deal with a lack of content for now. Realistically, I just think their AI needs a lot of work. And for me, as soon as I see an AI snap to you when they shouldn't be able to see you, or you're sitting there and you just hear somebody go, oh, what? And then they start shooting automatically. That takes me right out of the experience completely. But I also understand AI is some of the hardest things to do as an indie studio. So it, it's not that I'm mad at them for it. It's just I, I, I think I would give this game about a year before I would jump in and actually like put the time in. I think right now it's just a bit too early for my liking, but I do think there's going to be a group of people that jump in and could find some good times with it. I don't want to make the Tarkov comparison, but if you're looking for an extraction style shooter that you can play with your friends that you don't have to worry about hackers, cheaters, or any of that bullshit, uh, maybe consider picking this one up. I do think if I'm, if I'm giving you my honest recommendation, just fucking wait a little while, wait for it to get better 
and see where it ends up in six to nine months and then jump in. I'm hoping that within the next six months, we do see a new map and I'm hoping that that map is substantial. I'm a little worried that I didn't see anything about AI improvements on that roadmap. I'm hoping that it's something that they're thinking about because in my opinion, that is the biggest problem right now outside of optimization. As always, guys, my name is Big Fry. If you guys want to check out Incursion Red River, I'm going to have it linked down below. Go to the Steam page and if anything, give them a wish list if this is something that you're interested in, but you just want to wait a little while longer. It still helps them out that way. Leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe for more FPS content just like this, and I'll see you on the next one.